how to scrape Google with the new beta scraper in Scrapebox, and of course, how to fix Google if your Google scraping is broken. Obviously, this works with Yahoo and Bing as well. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. My name is Ryan Borden, and of course, we are talking about Scrapebox, the program. If you don't have Scrapebox, you can jump over to scrapebox.com, roll down to the bottom and grab yours before the deal expires. Of course, it comes with the add-ons and that sort of thing, 20 plus add-ons, and then there are plugins you can invest in as well that do all kinds of things, thousands of functions here. You can look at all the other videos on this channel. So let's jump in to Scrapebox itself. So Google is of course always pushing the limits as are the other engines, but Google more so, and Google breaks stuff. They change their code, they do stuff, and it, it either intentionally or inadvertently breaks Scrapebox, and so, as well as other scrapers, which is part of why they do it, I'm sure. And then Scrapebox always goes in and fixes it and makes it work again. Well, recently Google made some changes where it didn't really make sense. It was really not working with the current scraper. So they really had to redesign the whole scraper and it is the new beta scraper. So you can do custom scraper and then tick mark. If you just put in something here or whatever and go, you still can see the old scraper and it does still work. We'll talk about how to update that. But if you want to use the new beta scraper, because uh, my assumption is eventually the beta scraper is going to be the scraper and it'll just replace the custom harvester. It's just uh, still currently being built. Place a tick mark there and you hit start and you can see it is an entirely different experience. Previously and historically for the past, I don't know, I think Scrapebox has been around since 2010 maybe 2009. So it's almost 15 years old, right? 14 and a half years, something like that, right? So you put all your keywords in here, you click start harvesting and it works with the new beta harvester. Um, you put the keywords in here, right? So I would put in my keyword in here. It's kind of all inclusive. So it brings the keyword box in here. It brings the proxy management in here, whereas normally you'd manage the proxies here. You can still pull from that. So you have your own use proxies box, which replaces this one here. You can import from Scrapebox, so I can pull in all these proxies, um, or I can import from a file, but it brings proxy management into the harvester, it brings keyword management into the harvester. And then previously you also had to go through the settings up here to install engines. So harvester engine configuration, and then import them here and manage them here. So if you wanna edit them and that sort of thing, now that's all done in here as well. So you can install engines individually here. There obviously are only like 99.9% .9 of people use Google, Yahoo, and Bing when they're scraping with Scrapebox. Anyways, Scrapebox has a bunch of other engines, but right now in the beta scraper, only those three are built in. You can build in your own engines, but you can install engines here. If you wanna build in your own engines or mess with them, you do that by right clicking on here and then you can go to edit the configuration. So I can clone Bing and then work from there to make my own. So if I wanted to do a Google 24 hour or a Google time frame where it's, you know, 2006, 2009, I can clone that and then work from there. But then I can edit the engine as well. I would not recommend to edit any of the default engines, just leave them be, clone them and then edit them. But you can see all of the stuff in here to make everything work. And so I'm not gonna go into like how to do that, but it does support regex, which is really nice as well. And so this is the engine. And so we punch in our, our keywords here. So like I'm gonna do car, purple, or car truck, boat, right? Whatever, I always do those. And so we set our results down here now, which also replaces the results box here. And if you are on Mac, then the results box is in this quadrant up here, but that is now replaced in here. So I can set results per keyword, I can set total results, results per engine, or results per keyword per engine. So I'm just gonna do results per keyword. Historically, when you set results in here, like this thousand, for example, that is per keyword, and that's just what you get. And so now we have more choices. So if you wanna do the same as always, choose per keyword, or you can do the other ones. Just bear in mind that as a general rule, these days, it's 2024 when I'm recording this video, search engines tend to cap soft cap at around 200 results. So even if you go in a browser and you open up Chrome and you go over, oh, wrong browser, open up, doesn't matter, right? But if you go over to Google, right? And you punch in like, I don't know, purple car, Dallas, Texas, 
at some point here, what they do is they just remove, they stop showing you results. And so there's no next button here, but eventually it just stops scrolling. And so that typically happens around 200 results. You can see uh, the rest of the entries. Obviously there are probably more than purple cars in Dallas, Texas than 149 because uh, there's images and everything, right? But it, it just stops. And so that's what happens on most results, especially if you get anything advanced query, but even if I put in the word car, right? Obviously there are, it says, say, it doesn't even show me the quantity. Usually they say there's like 42 million results or I don't know, whatever, right? Uh, they stuck their generative AI stuff right in the way. So if we keep rolling, eventually what's going to happen is used to you'd get to a thousand and then it would just stop. Now it just stops. So see, we have like 200 results or something like that. And that's what you get. You can't go any farther in a browser, which is the same reason you can't go any farther in Scrapebox because Scrapebox is just seen as a browser. So you're not going to get more results from Google unless you try to uh, get them some other way, which I'll talk about for just a half a second in a minute, but basically get 200 results per keyword. So you can set this to like a thousand, for example, uh, but you're not going to get a thousand results per keyword. You're going to get 200 or less. Then obviously when we're done, we hit start. And of course we can see it running down here, cycling through proxies. I don't even know if I loaded in proxies. I didn't test them. I forgot to do that, but obviously it's working. And so it shows you the results here as they come in, the proxies being used, and then uh, what's happening here and, and the delay and that sort of stuff. And so obviously I can let this run. I can stop it. Once I have stopped it, Remember, this is kind of its own window now. It brings everything in here. Now I can export the results so I can send them back to the main harvester grid, which is right here. So if I want them there, I can go export to main harvester grid. I can send them to a file or I can export them separated by engine, which is kind of cool. So I can see the ones that come from each engine, which is, you know, so I can see my results from each engine. I just stuck them all back there, but that's how the new harvester works. I did say how to get more than 200 results that's pretty easy. Uh, you just go to car and then you're going to tack on extra keywords. So what we're trying to do here, if I have the word car and let's say there's, I don't know, 40 million results for the word car. I'm kind of making that up, but I'm sure there's a lot. So if I do that, then I only get 200 for the word car. So now I can do car A, car B, car one, car purple, car cloud, right? And so on and so forth. Basically, I'm tacking on letters, numbers, and keywords. So you can put yourself, you could use the keyword scraper to put together some other keywords, and then the keyword merge option up here with the M to merge those together. If you're not sure how that works, you can jump over to scrapeboxfaq.com and uh, just search merge. And right here it is, right? So it tells you how to use the merge token. I'm not going to go into that on this video. But you can merge all together and you have a keyword list where you can take your one keyword and you can merge in all the other keywords. You could get yourself a list of all the letters, 26 letters, 10 numbers, one through one through nine and zero. And then our numbers rather, you can stick on bigger numbers, but I don't know if it really makes a difference there. And then um, you could even Google like popular words, like the thousand most popular words in the English language or whatever language you're using, right? Stick anyways, put yourself together a list, merge it together. What's going to happen is... When I get done here, and we can try it. So if I hit start, I know I'm only going to get 200 results per keyword maximum. I'm going to let this run for just a second here, and then I'll show you what happens when we get done. All right, so it ran for a minute. I'm going to stop it, export back to the main grid, close out of this, and then now we have 649 results. I'm going to remove duplicate URLs. Uh, and actually it's 649 results. So where we would have only gotten 200, now we have 649. So that's how you get around it by tacking on extra keywords. So that's the new Scrapebox beta harvester. And then the last thing I would say is that um, there's been a whole thing, like I have tons of videos on like how to safely scrape Google, right? Because of a delay. So I've got 50 proxies loaded in here. If even at 50 proxies, it's not really enough to do it continuously on one connection with no delay. If I have like a massive keyword list, like say I have 10 million keywords, if I have like 150 keywords, it's probably fine. But so you can control the delay. So if you're familiar with that, great. If not, I have other videos on the concept here. You can watch those on the same channel. Um, but you can right click here and go to editing the engine. This is the only time I would actually edit the included engine and this delay in milliseconds here. So it's set to 2000 milliseconds. So a thousand milliseconds is one second. 
2,000 milliseconds is two seconds, right? So I could set this to 10,000 milliseconds and that's 10,000 seconds, or I could set it to 100,000 milliseconds and that's actually 100 seconds. So just think everything, the seconds actually start after the three zeros. So if you need to add a delay, and the, obviously the purpose of the delay is so you don't get your proxies blocked, then that is how you add a delay. And then of course I can just apply that and away we go. And it's per engine, etc. So that's how you do delay. Now, as far as how to fix your Google if it's broken, first of all, you need to be using at least for the Google updates that happened at the end of 2023, beginning of 2024, you need to be using at least Scrapebox. Uh, I think it's .15 on Mac. So 2.1.0 or 2.1.15 on Mac in order for it to work. And then on Windows, you want to be using at least 2.1.0.39 and then at least beta one. So the beta versions on Scrapebox aren't necessarily beta versions like a lot of software companies have. They're pretty much stable versions. I've never had a single issue with a beta version and I've not had, like I have tons of people that come to me and ask questions all the time. I've never had anybody report an issue with the beta version. Uh, it's just a quicker way for them to release updates and then they compile everything into full updates when it's all said and done. So don't get scared off by the fact that it's a beta version. I mean, worst case, you could always roll back, but it has a new updater, have a video on that too. But when you click check for updates, now you get an actual updater that looks like so. So it gives you all the versions you can go, gives you all the beta versions and you can roll back to old versions too. So I can go back to like dot three, five, if I want. So worst case you update to a beta version and you did experience an issue, which would be random, but it's possible, then you can just go click it update again and roll back to an old version. Anyways, you click update and away you go. So you need to be using at least .39 beta one for the new Google Harvester to work, but I always just update the latest beta version. Beta six just came out. I just forgot to do it before this video. Nonetheless, once you have that, you need to also, so you gotta have the beta version, then you need to go to settings, Harvester engine configuration, and then import. And then you want to go to download default engines from server, and you want to go apply. It's gonna do that, and away you go. And so now I have all of the default engines in here, and it has updated my standard Google engines. So now if I don't use the beta, it still works. So I can go car here and do Google and Bing, for example, and we will see, it takes a second to prepare, but we'll see, you know, cranking away, right? So we still got results. We got our 200 basically from Google and Bing provided less, but it's all there. So it still works. You can use the beta harvester or you can not just make sure that you do the harvester engine configuration and update, import, download default engines. Also, you can always do in the beta to install like the Google engine here if it's not installed. So like if you accidentally delete the engine, I can in double right click here and install the Google engine. Yeah, and now I have it installed. And so I think if you just, okay, so there's a note, at least in the beta, um, if there's an update, you may have to delete the engine before it'll let you install it and, and pull in the update. So I would have to double check. I haven't actually compared the engine files um, I don't know if this, I don't know how it's going to work out when it's all said and done, because this is just a beta, which means it's, it's changing. So right now you can do that in the beta if it's not working. And you can also go to harvester engine and pull it all together. Eventually I'm sure they will combine it. So when you go to the one, it just does everything, but nonetheless, right now, that's that. That's how you fix the Google. If it's not working, update to the beta and go to settings and harvester engine. That is how you harvest with the beta engine. And that is how you get more than 200 results using the harvester. And of course, there's tons of more videos on this channel and more coming. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.